All right, other news now, and a big story that we have been working on. Imagine voluntarily checking into a private psychiatric hospital, then the workers telling you that you cannot check out. Multiple families have come forward, and tonight they say they have proof their loved ones have become victims. Brett Ship investigates in this WFAA original. Mayhill Hospital, Denton, Texas. Its mission, to provide compassionate care to those individuals living with mental illness. But an internet surf for hospital reviews reveals many less flattering remarks. One mother writes about her daughter's stay. Her health and safety were actually jeopardized by the subpar care. We found that mother, and as it turns out, that family's experience was captured on video. Jason stood up and Viviana rushed him, grabbed his wrist, and started pulling him away from the door and was trying to shut the door at the same time. You're watching Jason Huff and his wife Govinda trying to help their daughter escape from Mayhill Hospital last March. They say they were frustrated after seeing their daughter receive three days of questionable care. Govinda was photographing her daughter's wristband when the staff member lunged to stop her. So then I just tried to get her away from the door and I was trying to get my family out of that room because it turned into a violent confrontation. It continued down the hall and into the lobby where Jason shoves one worker out of the way trying to help his wife and daughter run out the front door. My wife and Madison start getting out that door. Another staff member from behind tackles me to the, to the floor. When the doors popped open, that's when I pushed Madison across the threshold and I said, run. Their daughter had checked herself in at Mayhill for depression on a Friday night. The next day, she says she told a staff member she wanted to leave. State law says voluntary patients can check themselves out and must be released within four hours unless a doctor declares them unfit. The law also says staff shall assist the individual in creating a written request to leave. Madison says she spent the next two days asking to leave. Medical records show the doctor signed her discharge at 9 a.m. Monday. Again, she was not released. She escaped. But the Huff's frustrations are far from unique. This summer, at another mental health hospital, Sundance Behavioral Health Care in Garland, we followed Annie Brittling fight to get her adult son released. And he's so very sad and he, he's upset. He's being held hostage. Her son checked himself in at Sundance four days earlier. By Friday night, she says he wanted to leave and signed a request for release. It's now Saturday morning. He's still inside and, according to medical records, cheerful and compliant. But workers won't release him or allow his exit examination by the doctor. That's when I follow her inside to gain his release. Ma'am, I was here earlier, and I have a, I have a power of attorney for my over my son, a medical power of attorney. This is no and void and, and it's not null and void because and he's not represented by an attorney in psychiatric you have to have a psychiatric uh power of attorney um, i would like to talk to the doctor that's on call today about my son i would like to talk to the on-call doctor about my son I will let him know sir we're gonna have to ask you you can't record you're gonna have, to leave. Uh, you're gonna have to leave Hi, um, yes, this is Annie Britling. It's now Monday morning, more than 48 hours after her son requested his release. He should have been able to be examined by a physician within 24 hours of him signing that AMA paperwork on Friday night. And he was not examined by a doctor. He said that he did not see the doctor at all on Saturday. Finally, at 4.17 p.m., after five days of trying, Britling emerges with her son, almost racing to get away. The same sort of emotional release Madison Huff says she felt fleeing Mayhill Hospital. I thought I wasn't going to be able to leave. I thought they were going to strap my parents down. I thought they were going to strap me down. I thought, holy crap, I'm not going to be able to leave this hospital. Adding to the trauma, her father, himself a peace officer, was charged by Denton police with assault. He faces trial next month.
Mayhill officials have declined comment on the Huff's allegations saying the family has not authorized them to talk. Mayhill did issue a statement saying staff members were injured during the altercation and that patients in general are evaluated by the clinical team that determines their needs and oversees a course of treatment and are dedicated to providing high-quality patient care. Attorney Martin Serkeel settled a lawsuit against Mayhill Sister Hospital, Millwood in Arlington, last December. The lawsuit alleges his client was held against her will for the self-serving financial needs of the hospital. Millwood denied the allegations. And the motivation is what? Just money. Just money. It's over and over. And what's particularly, um, in my mind, uh, sickeningly brilliant about it is that it's based upon dollar here and a dollar there. Sundance behavioral health care officials have declined to comment regarding Annie Brittling's experience. She says her son is fine now. Madison Huff says she's better but still bitter over having to escape a hospital she thought was there to help. I wake up in a full-blown like anxiety attack because I can't escape it, like even in, like even just going to sleep at night. It's, it's terrifying because I still, f it feels so real. Brett Ship, Channel 8 News. We have posted a piece of this story on the Facebook. We did that earlier today. Now within hours, we heard from other families giving similar accounts. So if you, if you have a story that Brett, Brett does want to hear from you, you can email our team at investigates at wfaa.com.